Hey, how's it going tonight, guys? Super excited to be back home, being able to do these videos for you, um, and, and really just being able to teach you a lot more, especially after getting back from a power-packed weekend uh, at, at an event, guys. But most importantly, tonight, what we're talking about, what we are talking about is huge, and it's something that a lot of people seem to struggle with sometimes. Do you have trouble getting people excited? I don't just mean like, like a little bit of like, yeah, yeah, that's cool. No, I mean like, do you have trouble getting people excited, motivated, moved, ready to, to go on and take the world on? Because that's huge, guys. Jonathan Stringer here with you once again on uh, Network Marketing Tips for success. I want to be able to help you take your business to the next level. For some people, that may be ranking up. You might be brand new and you just want to hit your first company rank, but for some of you guys, that's hitting a, a five-figure, six-figure income, and I just want to give some, some tips to be able to help you take yourself up there, potentially up to a seven-figure income, guys. It, it's all dependent on you, to be 100% honest. Like I said, though, just got back from this amazing, amazing um, event that just went on over the weekend. Ray Higdon put it on, and it blew my mind. I've been to one of his events before just a couple months ago, first time ever, and I loved it. That was what got me started doing these Facebook Lives. But this one, so much better. And and one of the key factors to it, guys, and it's a huge factor and you guys might be sitting there thinking, well, Jonathan, I just, I don't want to get people excited. I want to get people like, I, I want them to go out and actually do something with their life as well. But they won't do that if you don't get them excited. The big thing about Ray's event, I, I think probably that a lot of people took home was that they got them excited. They, they left that event at, day after day. They left it fired up, ready to go take on the world, ready to go build their business, ready to go do something bigger than they've ever done before, ready to go be bolder, ready to go talk to more people, take on objections, all of these different things people were just excited to do. But a lot of people don't understand the importance of excitement or, or they don't know how to get people excited. And that's what I really want to address tonight is the how, the, the how and the why, I guess. So going into this, first off, network marketing is a people business. There's, there's no way around it. You do not go out and pick your company based on the company. Now, you might pick it based on a, a niche that you're in, potentially, potentially, but more often than not, the reason you're in your company is because somebody brought it to your attention and you were attracted to that person, whether they were a family member, a friend, maybe they cold contacted you on the street, on Facebook, over the phone. But the only reason you listened was because something drew you to them. Somebody walks up to you on the street and they start talking to you. The only reason you continue that conversation is because you're attracted to them. Not necessarily that you think they look good, but that you, you feel attracted to them. And if you want to test that, if you're, if you're like, no, no, I, I talk to anybody. Go walk through a downtown area where there's a ton of homeless people. Wait for one of them to come up that you can tell, you can smell them 20 feet away coming up to you. All right, They come up to you missing some teeth, slurring their words, and they start asking you for money. You're going to be quick to end that conversation. You're going to say, hey, I, you know, I don't have any money. Bye. You know, you're going to be turning around getting out of there really fast and you're thinking well yeah no doubt he's he's drunk he's homeless no teeth he what if he robs me you know what if it and you you're you're repulsed by him you're not attracted to him it he's that person that you're not attracted to and so with somebody coming up and cold contacting you though you see them that maybe they're dressed nice, maybe they're charismatic, maybe they're super just personable, they have something in common with you. Whatever it is, you, you say, hey, I'm going to continue this conversation because I'm attracted to them. It's the way it is, guys. It's a people business. And one of the key factors about people 
is that we need excitement. Even the most boring person, even the somebody who wants to just sit at home and do nothing, maybe they flip through soap operas all day long. They don't do anything. The reason they're flipping, the only reason they're flipping is because psychologically, they're trying to find something that excites them, something that grabs their attention and says, oh, I'm gonna stop flipping, I'm gonna watch it. That's, that's what it's all about. You gotta get people excited to make a change in their life. All right, guys, that's huge. And I heard that over and over throughout these presentations that people were giving. They didn't necessarily say those words all the time, but it was a common theme behind the, uh, their ability to talk to somebody, their ability to introduce the business to somebody, and their ability to get them into the business, and from there, help them be successful. And so I want you to think about your, what when you got started in your, your business, were you not excited? When you signed up, you said, I want that package to start with, I want this set of product to start with. When you did that, were you not excited? Were you not like, yes! I get to sign up, I'm stoked, I can't wait to go tell everybody, this is gonna be amazing. And that moved you to action. Well guys, a lot of times, you know, we're sitting there and, and we go out and we're like, I'm gonna go tell the world. We start telling somebody all about the, the business and the only thing that our, our mind starts to tell them is all the facts and the figures and that doesn't really get them excited. Okay, and I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself, so let me back up one moment. Okay, a quick story about the events when I was there. If you saw my Facebook Live from day two, it was day two of the event, I, I had on there, I actually won a prize. When I was at the event, you know, they had this, uh, if you're making posts on social media with the hashtag for the event, then they, got, they put you into a drawing. Well, I won one of them and I was stoked to win. I was just, the idea of being up on the stage in front of that many people fired me up. I was just stoked so excited to be up there but more importantly I shouldn't say more importantly I but I got to go up there and I got to stand next to Ray on the stage and he had this bag you know I'm pulling the tissue paper out of the bag and pull out my prizes and my prizes I should have grabbed them before I even started this video guys it'd be a little bit better for you but I got a it was like a game console controller okay and then a one of those virtual reality 3d um, goggle things that you stick your phone in and then all of a sudden it project it makes it look like you're in the game okay and I when I got it not that I was ungrateful I was incredibly grateful I mean Ray doesn't have to do something like that you know anybody who's putting on an event doesn't have to do something like that but I didn't know what it was so it's hard for me to be like yeah I can't believe I won that that's amazing I'm stoked oh, yeah you know and cheer for it I was, I was excited on the inside, I was like, yeah, but I had no clue what it was, so it was kind of hard to convey my excitement. And I was like, sweet, I, I don't know what that is. I actually said that to him. When we pulled out the first thing, I was like, it's a controller. I was like, I, I don't even know what, what that is or what it does. And, you know, and, and who knows, Ray may have been like, oh, dang, could have showed a little bit more excitement, I don't know. But it wasn't until the next day and my wife can attest to this. It wasn't until the next day um, that I got to use it and I got to try it out. And I put the, the phone in there and I snap it on and we get a couple games downloaded on it. And I found a game that was just a blast. And so I sat there. My wife had to turn on Netflix in the TV and the hotel room because I'm sitting there for like 30 minutes, probably maybe even an hour. I, don't, I just lost track of time because I'm just like, oh my gosh doing this, I'm shooting bad guys, I'm just like looking all over, and I'm sure it was probably weird to her because I just look over to her real fast, and I look over this way, and I'm like looking up and turning around, just all these weird motions, and it was because I was excited about it at that point, because I had, I realized how it impacted my life. I didn't know that it was, uh, oh, it can fit, any phone up to such and such inches and oh it says here the battery life can last for 12 hours oh and the controller that's bluetooth accessible you, i didn't that didn't excite me that wasn't you know and when i didn't know what the item was and how it impacted me again i was excited i won something i was like, more excited to be on stage next to ray i was more excited to be in front of the people 
But I was like, okay, cool. I won. I don't, I don't know what I won, but cool. Once I found out how it impacted me, that's when I got excited. And, and so I want you guys to think about that story for a moment. Just, just think about it. If you have to go back and listen to it, just listen to, to how, I, how I explained it. A lot of times when we're showing somebody the business, we're like the box on, on different products. We're like, oh, my business pays 87% compensation, 87% of the revenue out in compensation. My business buys the top of the top product from the only, you know, producers that they have every government, um, I, what is it even called? License. Every government license. Uh, I, our company is perfect. We have leaders that have been in the industry for 32 million years, combined experience, and all of this stuff. We start telling them all these facts, okay? Just like the box. I read the box and you're like, oh, whoopee. Unless you know what those things mean, you're kind of like, I, I don't care. Like, that's cool. Thanks for telling me, but I don't care. That doesn't make me doesn't make me want to look at your business. Or maybe you're telling that to your teammates. Guys, you got to remember, our owners, they have 32 million years of experience. And there's, your teammates are sitting there like, okay, that's cool. Thanks for telling me. I, why does that matter to me? It's because we're not putting them in the picture. We're not showing how it impacts them. When you do a presentation, maybe you do a lot of home presentations, you do one-on-one -on -one presentations, or whatever, however you do your presentation for your business, whatever it is, you're sitting there and you start showing somebody the plan. You start, and I did this. I remember doing this all the time when I was brand new into network marketing. Oh yeah, so you get paid such and such on this level and if you hit this bonus, you're making that money, but you gotta get people like this and you gotta stack them like this and then you gotta get, you know, everybody over here has to, do the same stuff as everybody over here. And I just got lost in the facts. I and mean, I could just go on and on. I knew all the facts. That part of my personality, um, there, there's so many different ways to say personalities. I learned it off the, the disc, uh, pro personality profiles. And so part of my, my, my next dominant uh, personality trait is obsessed with facts. It's not my number one thing, but my, my second, is just being obsessed with facts. And so I wanted to learn, I I could tell you, probably still to this day, unless they've changed it, I could tell you how you got paid on every level, what you had to do to hit each rank. I, I just, pointless details, it didn't matter. I never hit those checks with that company. I knew all the details about it, but it didn't matter. And, and I, I tried to explain that to people and they're sitting there and they're like, they're like, oh, um, like, that's cool. So I, I think I'll think about it. And I'm like, what do you mean you think you'll think about it? On level eight, you can make a billion, bajillion dollars. It's way cool. And on level two, you can make this much and blah, blah, blah. And I, I just wasn't getting them excited with the facts. I was reading off the box to them. When we, the, the key to it guys, now that I've rambled on for a moment or two on that, the key to it is when you're giving a presentation, when you're talking to your team, when you're trying to teach your teammates and you're trying to inspire people, what you're doing out there is you are, one second guys, sorry, there we go. Um, what, what you're doing out there is you're trying to put them in the picture you're trying to write a story of their life. You know, when I go talk to somebody now, it's, hey, what could an extra $400 in your life do for you? Like just imagine right now, I gave you $400, what do you do with it? And they're gonna say, oh, I got bills I gotta pay. Oh my gosh, actually I've been wanting to take my spouse out to dinner, uh, my kids, they really wanted to do sports, but we just, we were short on the money this year because of all the bills and it's just been rough and so I could put them in sports for that and, and they start seeing, they start envisioning themselves with the way that their life changes. 
You know, if you've got a product, maybe you have a health and wellness product, you're out there and you're saying, hey, you know, I've got this amazing shake, okay? This shake can help you lose weight. What? And don't necessarily do it like that, but you just say, hey, what would, your, what would you feel like if you could lose 25 pounds? How would it change your life? How would it make you feel? Would you be excited? Would you be excited for going to the beach in the summer? Would you want to go to the pool parties that the community's putting on? You know, like what would that change in your life? And just let them sit there and start building their dream for you. So many people try to force somebody into their own dream. Oh yeah, you can make all this money. Oh yeah, you can be so healthy. Oh yeah, you can travel all the time. Or you can fill in the blank, guys. Whatever your company, product, or service is, they can just be like, oh yeah, this. And they get they get so caught up on forcing somebody into their dream. Talk to somebody and find out what their dream is. When you do that, and then you start talking about their dream, and you start, then, once you know their dream, once you understand what it is they, they aspire to, what it is they're ambitious about, then you can throw in the facts. Say somebody's dream, I wanna make a thousand dollars a month because I'm, I need extra money. Oh, okay, that's awesome. Well, let's, you know, and you start finding, maybe dig a little deeper, and then all of a sudden you say, well, guess what? We have this bonus that gets you exactly that amount. And it doesn't matter, nothing else matters. You don't tell them about all the, the details. You, hey, we got this bonus so that you can accomplish your dream. Imagine if you had that bonus. Imagine if you were there walking across stage saying, yeah, I made it. How would that change your life now? Think about it, just envision it. And when you do that, guys, at this event, they were giving us lessons, they are training us, they were helping us, and when we were there, a lot of times they'd say, imagine if you could do that. Think about your success rate if you had the skills that I'm about to describe to you right now. And then they describe them. They say, what would that change in your business? And I mean, we're a room. I, I could be wrong. I, I say I estimate between 800 and 1,000 people. Um, that was just me counting off of tables and chairs and such. But all of us. We're just thinking, oh my gosh, like that would change my life, that would change my business, that would change my team. And all of a sudden we had our own dreams, we had our own ambitions, we had things that we were excited about because of that. Because they, they allowed us to build our dream and they molded that around it. That's how you get people excited. So if you're having trouble getting people excited, chances are you're focusing too much on the facts. Chances are you're focusing, you're, you're trying to be the, the label, you're trying to be the box of information about your company as opposed to finding out what part somebody can use in their life, what their dream is, what they need help with, what they're excited about already, what, what makes them excited, you know, hey, what, uh, what would change your life? That's all, that's all you gotta find out. Once you know what changes their life, once you know what they're excited about or what makes them excited, that's when you take this box and you say, oh, I like that piece of information and that one. Not the whole thing, I just wanna tell them these two pieces, they, they'll learn the rest. I, I will tell them, it's not that I'm trying to hide anything from them. They'll learn the rest. But if I tell them all that now, they'll be confused and not wanna do it. I take these two pieces, hey, check this out. That's how you can have your dream. That's how you can be excited. That's how you can accomplish your life that you desire. And all of a sudden, you're, you're not selling anything. You're not convincing anything. You're not trying to, to push anybody. I know a lot of people are afraid of that. None of that. Now they're excited, they're driven. They say, okay, what do I need to do next? What is my next step? And it's, it's, all, it's all downhill from there, guys. You start telling them, hey, this is what we do. This is the process. This is the system. Boom. They're in it and they're going. They're fired up. You touch base with them. Hey, don't forget your dream. Remember, this is what we're shooting for. I'm helping you get there. You don't, don't let them just go off on their own. Remember, I'm helping you get there. 
Okay, X marks the spot on the treasure map. I'm helping you get to X. You know, and all of a sudden, you've got a team of driven, inspired, motivated people that are just so excited to, to change their life, to change other people's lives. Guys, I challenge you. I, I really do challenge you right now. If you're struggling to get people inspired, if you're struggling, struggling to get people excited, Stop focusing on facts. Stop focusing on yourself. Stop focusing on what you think is important and ask them what they think is important. Find out why, why, find out how you can help them. Find out why they might need your help. When you do that, your business is going to explode. And I, I don't just mean that in a, in a, like a you focused sense. I mean like people are going to feel excited to be around you because they're going to know that you care about more than just yourself. You care about them. And everybody is drawn to a service-driven leader. I hope that you guys got a ton of value from this. I hope that this changes your team building. I hope that this changes how you go and do presentations. And I hope that because of it, you get to start changing more people's lives. You get to impact more people. And in turn, I hope that brings about your dreams, your desires, your ambitions. I know that you've got the, the greatness within you, inside of you. I know that you've got something extraordinary just waiting to burst out of you. And I just, I hope that you can go out there and, and really accomplish all of your dreams. And I promise you, that you'll get a lot closer. You'll, you'll be on a lot better path. You'll be on the right path if you start focusing on other people and how to make them excited. You guys have an amazing day. Have an amazing week because it is Monday. Starting off the week right with some tips for success. You guys go out there. Make your dreams happen. Help everybody else make their dreams happen. And I will talk to you again next Monday for some more success tips. Bye-bye, guys.